Starting in a new sketchbook can be really, really daunting. However, I'm here to give you some tips and tricks on how you can get started on that first page in your sketchbook. I'm using this Stillman and Burn sketchbook. It's a multimedia sketchbook and the paper is 270 GSM. It's a new sketchbook and I'm really excited to use it. Oh, the cover feels really nice and soft. It's got a nice matte feeling to it, which I really do like. And then it's stitch bound down in the pages. The paper feels really nice quality. So I'm really looking forward to starting this sketchbook. So I think I'm going to maybe start a new series in this sketchbook. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe. I'm going to be testing out this new quill paintbrush by Jackson's in today's video and also I'm going to be using my Paul Rubens watercolours in case you are interested. Both items I will link in the description box if you want to check them out yourself. So before I give you all of my tips and tricks on starting your sketchbook, I'm going to give you a little bit of an idea on what I'm creating and what I'm wanting to do with the first page in my sketchbook. For those of you that are new around here, you won't know that I like to work on botanics and I also like to work on food and nostalgia. So the ideas that I have in my artwork can be quite eclectic sometimes, but I was wanting to go with a woodland scene for this one and I wanted to show a little bit of a journey through the woods and have a sense of mystery in there as well with the lighting. So that's what I was trying to achieve with this very first page in my sketchbook. And as we go through this video, you'll see how I progress. Let me know in the comments of what you think of it. My first tip on starting your sketchbook is to accept imperfections. Not every single page in your book is going to look exactly how you imagine it. And that's part of the fun in the artistic process, developing ideas and actually something magical might come out of something that's not intended. So really accepting those imperfections is so important in your artwork. And if it doesn't go to plan on that very first page, it honestly does not matter. My second tip is to try and just have some fun with your sketchbook. This is a place for you to go and put down all of your ideas. Sometimes it works as a really nice journal and it's a way for you to creatively put down what's in your mind onto paper. So try and just have some real fun with it and not take it too seriously. Tip number three is to not spend too long looking for the perfect reference photo because this is going to be detrimental to your practice really you want to just look for something and then do it don't spend too long deliberating over it or thinking about it just get moving with that paintbrush your pencil or pen whatever it is you like to use this idea might be a little bit in contrast to my last one but it's actually to look at other artists artwork and I would suggest you do this leading up to starting your new sketchbook. If you've got a particular style in mind that you would like to develop, I would suggest starting to make a board on Pinterest or just screenshotting some of your favourite artists artwork so you can start developing work in a style that you would like to learn. You will then have all of those influences in one place so that you can look back on them and then you can get started straight away in developing your style and learning how to create artwork in that style. Number five is to relax. Now, I know it can be quite difficult to relax if you're a bit nervous about starting that new page, but just try and go with that first mark in that sketchbook and you will soon relax and you'll soon be able to get into the flow of working in that sketchbook. I think if you're unable to relax then you'll be in a negative mindset and I just don't think that it will be the most productive space for you to be working in. Okay so for this one I'm going to suggest that you just add in some 
paint swatches or some scribbles or just going in with some markers and adding some different marks to your sketchbook and then seeing what happens and building up from those to see what you can create. So I think just go for it and not be afraid to make those first marks on that page. Once you have some art medium on that piece of paper, it's no longer a plain piece of paper and you can add to it and you can create on it. I think having that blank space is really nerve wracking. So just add some art medium to it to get over that first fear of adding paint or pencil to the page. If you are really nervous about putting artwork down on the first page, then maybe writing a manifesto might be the way forward for you. This way you can add down all of the things that you would like to achieve in the sketchbook and maybe ideas on how you're going to achieve them. You could even add some images and printouts, photographs, and then that way you can look back at the end of the sketchbook to see what you have managed to achieve from that manifesto and maybe what you still need to continue working on. And the last idea that I've got for you for today is to date your work. This is something I don't usually do, but it's something I want to start doing. So when I look back through in my sketchbook, I can see how much progress I have made in the time I've been using the sketchbook. If you've got any other tips that you can share on getting started in a sketchbook, things that you found really useful, let me know in the comments because I would absolutely love to hear them. Also, let me know what you think of the first page in my sketchbook. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. I really enjoyed using the Stillman and Burn sketchbook along with that Jackson's quill paintbrush. So I will link them in the description box in case you're interested in checking them out. They deliver worldwide and if you use my link, you get a 10% discount on your first order. This is my first page in this new sketchbook. I'm really, really pleased with this. I went into it with something in mind that I wanted to create and I'm really happy with the final outcome of this. Hopefully you find that it's not so daunting starting in that new sketchbook and you can get started straight away. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and also make sure you subscribe so you never miss out on any of my future videos. I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.